Hi everyone, it's Marie here and I'm back sharing another 12 by 12 process video with you today. This one is a bit of a special one because I'm joining in with Shu Wen, who is also known as Shoe Puff Creations on Instagram and YouTube. She's been doing a series of YouTube videos for quite a while now and I know she's had lots of people joining in with her. Uh, myself and a few others, they're all linked in the description box below. Uh, myself and a few others are joining in today and this um, little, uh, this month, um, the theme uh, of Stretch Your Stamps, which is the kind of collaborative project, um, is tags, labels and frames. Um, so basically the idea being that you take a set of stamps that you might have had for a while and use them in a different way or getting the most out of them. So um, I am using a set of tab and label stamps that I've got from Ellie Studio. Um, but the thing I've done to start with is I've taken a whole load of Distress inks there um, and I've kind of swiped them down a sheet of mixed media paper from Vicky Bootin. And um, this idea I got from a friend of mine, um, Monique, who is Handmade Happy um, on Instagram and YouTube as well. Um, I'll link her in the box below as well because she's done a very similar layout, um, a similar technique to this on, on a few of her layouts. Um, so basically I've just swiped down uh, with the ink pads and then gone over them with brush and water because the Distress inks react really well with water. Um, to kind of mush them together and just give them that sort of watercolour look. Um, and like I say, this is just on a piece of Vicky Bootin's foundations paper. There's no gesso on there or anything. I just went straight onto the paper. I didn't want the colour to move around loads anyway, so it was fine that it just sort of sat and soaked in. Um, so I did this and then applied a little bit of heat, trying to get it to dry a little bit and then left it for a good long while. Uh, while it dried off completely because then what I want to do is I want to take my stamp set so I'm taking the tab stamp and I want to just repeatedly stamp it along each colour um, I wanted to do the watercolour effect so that the colours bled into each other a little bit so that you didn't just end up with like a solid blue and a solid green um, and that there was that kind of variation in colour on them as well um, so I basically fill that entire sheet with these tab stamps um, and then off camera um, just because I didn't think you'd want to watch me die cut them all because it took absolutely ages I literally took the, the matching die and die cut all of the tabs as well now my idea is to use these rainbow tabs and they look fab there just at the side um, to create my background but what I want to do is add some more colour behind so that it's not I tried them on a, a piece of straight on the piece of white and it was too too stark it needed some color behind as well so i'm just going along with the same colors i've used on the tabs but this time with a blending brush um just to create kind of um, a hue of color around the outside of where those tabs are going i'm having a bit of trouble with that red it will not it's 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 almost like it's it's brand new but it's almost like it's run out of ink and I've even used the refresher spray on it and it just won't come back to life. So I'm not quite sure what's wrong with that one. The rest of them are working fine. Um, but I do go back to that red in a minute and add some more colour on because it just looks a bit pale. Uh, so I'm just going along with the rainbow colours, uh, trying to add a very small amount. And then I've gone up one side with the raspberry and I've gone down the other side with the red. Because obviously you've got, it. I'm going to do like a square in the middle. Um, so you'll, you'll see the whole of those sides. So that looks a little bit better now. So now I'm going to have a play with placing all these tabs on. I've got plenty of them. I think I've got about five in each colour. So there's plenty of them for me to kind of spread them out and, and have that lovely rainbow pattern. Um, I did start then, I did decide then, I should probably look to see if I was in the middle and I'm not in the middle at all. It's not even close. Um, so it's just going to be, have to be a little bit offset, but never mind. Um, I was determined to try and move it to the middle, but it just wouldn't work, not where I'd put the ink. I should have probably measured it beforehand, but never mind. So I'm just using some Nouveau glue here um, to place the bottom row of tabs across um, in order, uh, in rainbow order. And I like the way that's looking already. Um, so I'm just kind of playing with the alignment. I don't want them in a line. I do want them sort of all at different heights. And there's the photograph that I'm going to scrap today. That's the photograph of my little uh, doggy Bella. Uh, laid on my knee chewing a bone which if I sit on the sofa that's where she is straight away on my knee um, curled up and uh, either goes to sleep or brings me something to chew <laughs> so now I'm just adding the rest of the tabs on 
Um, I love the variation in colour that I've got on those because I could have, I suppose, die cut little bits of card and then just stamped um, or coloured the whole thing in. It would have been a very solid colour and I did want that variation. I like how some of them have got a bit of orange and a bit of yellow on um, and it kind of varies nicely, which I like. So I'm just adding in some extra blues. I do have more than seven colours, I think. I think I've got more than seven colours, but I quite like the extra um, turquoise. Turquoise is one of my favourite colours, so I like the extra turquoise in the middle. So just building that up um, and overlapping them so that you can't see any of the white coming through from behind. So just a few more to add on. Those yellowy orange ones, and then the solid orange, and then the last row is red. Um, I do go back in in just a second and add, it, it feels like it's shorter at one end than the other and it didn't feel quite right. So I wanted to kind of try and level it out a little bit and I do that by adding an extra yellow um, and adding an extra orange and it kind of just makes it just a bit more uneven. So I've pulled out some Ellie Studio Ephemera. Um, I was going to try and back that photograph but there's so much colour in the background it just doesn't need it. So instead I'm just going to um, embellish it and put lots of things around it. So I start off with that word photo love and that little puffy sticker that says amazing but in the end I don't use the photo love it does actually come off. Um, but I'm going to use lots of my Ellie Studio puffy hearts now and put lots of those all the way around in all the different places in those rainbow colours kind of doing not tone on tone embellishments but um, kind of lining the embellishments up in, in the right colours. And I do spend an awful lot of time moving these hearts around so that they look even though they're not randomly placed, they look randomly placed and they don't end up being lined up. Um, I don't want them to look too organised, I want it to be, I want it to look quite random. I'd love to put a little rainbow on there but I just couldn't make it work. I was debating that word hello, um, but in the end I decided I didn't want black, I wanted to keep it quite light and bright so I added some more white in there instead. And instead I choose this word happy, uh, which is a cardstock, uh, I think they're cardstock or chipboard stickers. And that one as well says happy little moments, that little disc that I've put at the bottom corner. And I love that word happy, I think it really pops from the colour behind. More hearts going on now. Can't have too many puffy hearts. And then a big white one going up at the top of my photograph as well, which I really like. I did debate putting on some of those acetate hearts as well, but in the end I decided that it just, they were, it was too much and it was too much variation in colour. The puffy ones that I've used there are much better. So I'm just trimming the outside of my photograph. It's It was printed on a zinc printer, which is a zero ink printer. Um, and I love the little printer. Um, the colours are never quite as good as on my selfie. Um, but And you do get this kind of bluey tinge just round the outside. So I just trimmed very quickly round the outside to get rid of that. And then I stuck it down to a piece of white cardstock before I popped it on the layout. The reason for that was because with it being thinner and it being stuck on top of quite bumpy tabs, I didn't want the photograph to look bumpy um, and instead I decided to kind of give it a more solid background and then a piece of foam behind as well just to pop it off the page a little bit. I'm now going through the colours again that I used for the original bit of watercolour in and just popping each one on that piece of plastic and then adding water so that I can do some splatters in the same colours again. I start by doing really tiny splatters and then I go back in and add some bigger ones as well. Um, I like the way the bigger ones look. I was going to use my watercolours for this but then I decided actually I really wanted to match the colours exactly with what I'd already done so I went back in with the um, distress inks and just like I say added a bit of water to them so I could do my splatters. And already that's really softening the appearance around the outside. So lots of little splatters. And then what I've decided to do is take some of my, um, so this is a tab stamp set. So I've taken some of the sentiments that fit inside the tabs um, and just randomly stamped a few of them on the tabs you can see. So I've got um, life currently, I think a good day and... There's another one on there as well, I can't remember what the other one says. But just randomly stamped, and then I'll take this teeny tiny little heart as well and pop a few of those randomly all over. 
just as extra little accents. I've then decided because the whole cluster in the centre is slightly off centre and it's bugging me, um, I've decided to add just a very small cut file. This is pure joy, um, which is a fitting sentiment really when Bella's chewing a bone. Um, so rather than adding any more colour or anything to the layout, I've just decided to back this one with vellum. Um, so just fussy cutting around the outside. I've stuck it on and just fussy cutting. Um, and then I'm going to pop the middle of the O in as well. And then I'm going to cut the centre of the O out as well. I wasn't um, going to bother with it, but it just it was too much vellum. So it just needs that centre cutting out. So I tend to just cut a... Um, a little slip down and then use my scissors to fussy cut. That looks far better. I'm much happy with how that looks. I'm just now going to move a couple of the hearts out of the way, pop a little bit of dimensional foam on the back of the cut file. Um, I was going to go around the letters but you could see the foam so I decided just to leave a little bit on it on there and then just stick the pure down onto the tabs. And there it is. I like the way that looks on the corner. I think that's ideal. Just popping those purple hearts back on. And then coming back in with another, I'm just going to move that blue one. And then coming back in now with some white paint to do some white splatters, just to tone down the colour, just a teeny tiny bit. And then I've decided that I want some almost larger splatters, so I'm going to use my Nouveau Drops. And I go right through the rainbow of colours of Nouveau Drops and pop little ones all over. And I like the I like the way that it almost they almost look like larger paint splatters around the outside, which is great. So I'm really pleased with how that's looking. And that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to head down to the description box below and have a look at the other links to the other videos of um, the other creatives stretching their stamps. Um, we've all done something completely different. Um, so I'm sure you'll get lots of inspiration from them as well. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up um, would mean a lot. So thank you so much for joining me. Hope I have inspired you today and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.